today we are going to test the theory that a 12 volt diesel heater will run at 24 volts if you switch it to 24 volts in the controller. So I've just taken this out of the box, I've put diesel in it, I've primed it, it's currently connected to a 12 volt source for starting. Now, I just wanted to do the quick tour to show that it is a 12 volt heater. Come with me. So there we go. Car parking here, diesel, 12 volt, 40 watt, <laughs> 5 kilowatt, yeah, sure. And in the menu, uh, which, wait, has it gone dim? It has gone dim. Uh, blah, 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 25 degrees, 13.2 volts. And that roughly matches the 13 point something we've got on there. So I'm going to run it first on 12 volts just to make sure the actual heater itself works. Oh, might as well just turn it on then. Go. Cool. Alright. So I'm just going to go and let it start up, run, do a 12 volt, start up, shut down, and then we'll switch over to 24 volts in the ECU, make the power supply 24 volts, and then we'll fire up. I might take the top cover off and point the thermal imaging at the fuel pump because we won't see much else. Right, I'm going to let this run and then bring you back when it's time to go to 24 volts. Okay, I can confirm on 12 volts, it's running away quite happily. If fall be it noisily. Right, I will shut it down now. Shut it down, let it run its cool down. We have suffered a slight setback in that the plastic fuel pipe pokes out the bottom, has now touched the rather hot uh, work surface and has now melted the fuel pipe. So, so I'm going to have to fix that and then we'll come back. So one uh, melted fuel pipe uh, changed over, that was easy enough. All right, now she'll go into the menu. Right, can I show you me doing the menu bit? Kinda. I don't want to move it because I've set up the thermal imager, pointed at the fuel pump inside to see if uh, that gets hot when it tries to run at 24 volts. So. Here's a brief uh, shot of the back of my head while we go into the secret settings. Menu set 24 volts. I'm now going to go over here. Right, now, can you. Oh, you can see the power supply from here. We're at 13 point now, something just now, so we're going to take this up. 13, 15, 17, 18, 20, 20. 20, nah, 24 and change, we'll give it 24 and change. Uh, wait, where's my, let me just use my own camera, oh, let's zoom out a bit, zoom out a bit, so I can see, so we can see everything at once. And now I'm going to use the old phone camera, phone camera. And one camera, so let's swing around and let me see if I press OK. 21 degrees, so you set to 25, 24.2 volts, which almost matches the 24.17 on the power supply. 24.2 volts, no error codes. Okay, she's ready to roll. Uh, thermal imaging, record a video, go. That's recording, this is recording, that's recording, here we go, let's power up, and go. Oh, it's very screamy, and it's dead! Error 03, right, error 03, let me just film this for you, error 03, okay. Stop that there. Stop you there. Boop. And pause. So, uh, according to the handy dandy instruction manual, an error 03 is ignition plug fault. Check whether ignition plug is in open circuit or short circuit. 
I imagine it's probably in bits inside the heater. As a fair game, what we should do now is switch her back to 12 and see if you'll start back up. Alright, all back to 12 volts, smashing arrow 03. Turn the power supply back down to 12, 13, 13 a bit. 12 and change, 12 and change, and let's try and fire up again. Let's. So we're back at all at 12 volts. Uh, it's, it's, it, hey, it's still trying to go. We've got a 3 amp draw on the power supply. It's slowly ramping up. 5 amps. 6 amps. Hey, it might actually start. 6 amps. It might be alright. 8 amps is going somewhere. See if the fuel pump kicks in that light. Fuel pump's pumping. I don't hear ignition yet though. Then again, I also did melt the fuel pipe. So I might have to put the diesel back in. That was the case. He is. It's back to being lit. Can confirm. Back in 12 volts. Running away happily. Making hot air. Making hot exhaust. Drawing two amps. Absolutely running fine. On the YouTube community thing, I did a poll of what I, well, it was the three options of what happens if we give this 24 volts? Will it die instantly? Will it die during operation? Or, sorry, what was the other one? Or it'll run normally. I should have added a fourth option of it not doing anything. It just, uh, well, it did nothing. It, it's interesting. I wonder. If set at 24 volts, it must know what the resistance of a 24 volt glow plug must be, roughly. Because it did, it tried to start, and then it went to heat the glow plug up, and then went, ah, there's no glow plug there. So I don't know if it can, if it knows, or if it gave the glow plug 24 volts, and that made it so out of spec that it thought there was no glow plug attached. Which means these glow plugs might be, well, imagine they might survive 24 volts once. Will they survive 24 volts twice? Three times? I might off camera have a play with this myself and see if I can actually kill it at 24 volts. But we've answered the question that, I, that we asked, which is can you run a 12 volt heater on 24 volts by adjusting the ECU to 24 volts? And the answer is. No! No you can't. The only thing that that works on is that weird 12, 24, 240 volt, granted the 244 volt is an unrelated outlier, it will take any voltage between 12 and 24 and it will output 12 to all the components. And you can do it on the fly, like there's no, you don't, on that controller you can tell it's that controller because you don't get to pick the voltage, it doesn't care. You give it 12, 15, 18, 20, 24, it just runs. It just runs all the innards at 12. It doesn't care. You can't. You don't get to choose it. And that's how we're going to have to start looking when things, you know, when heaters arrive and going through the ECU. If there's options to choose a voltage, it's only going to run at whichever voltage you can pick. And if you don't get to pick the voltage, then it's probably going to run at either voltage. Any questions, comments, etc., etc., as always, leave them down below. I will try my very best to answer them. And thank you for watching.